Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are still on the topic plane geometry. In the previous video, we considered the angle properties of power lines and we took an example on questions that involve power lines. In this video, we are going to solve a couple of examples. So, let's pick the first one. Find the value of the letters of the letter or the letters in the following diagrams. So, we have the first diagram here. So, we are going to find the value of x and y in this diagram. Now, I'm going to bring it here as I usually do so that you'll be able to solve it. Now, we can see from here that we have three power lines. A, B, C, D, and E, F. Now we have two transversals, I, H, and H, G. Now whenever you have this, you solve it one at a time. So when you're solving the top part, we consider it as if what you have here is not there. So we are going to solve only this part. We are going to consider A, B, and C, D with I, H being the transversal. Now, if you are considering that, you can see from here that 120 degrees and X are co-interior angles. If you watch the previous video, you can see from here that 120 degrees and X are co-interior angles. What we know is that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So, X plus 120 degrees will give us 180 degrees and X will give us 60 degrees. So you saw for the x that was in this part. Now you come here. When you come to the down part, you consider it as if this part here does not exist. So we are solving C, D, and E, F with G, H as our transversal. Considering that one too, we can see that Y and 70 degrees are alternating angles. We know that alternating angles are equal. So Y is equal to 70 degrees. So whenever you are being given the diagram, all you need to do is to look at the diagram very carefully. Then you recall all the properties that you know and you use the one that will help you to solve the question. From here, we know that x and 120 degrees are co-interior angles. We can find x from there. y and 70 degrees are alternating angles. So we can find y from there. It is that simple. Let's look at the next question. So we have this question here, and this one we are supposed to find x. Now, how do we solve this question? Now you can see from here that we have j and k, we have m and n as the two power lines from here. Now we can see that the transversal doesn't continue straight on to the other power line. Whenever you have this, to help you solve this type of question, what you have to do is that you have to introduce a helping power line or a power line that will help you to solve this question. Now, this is what I mean. You see, in the previous video, we had this power line, this power line, then we had a third power line in the middle. That is the same thing that you are going to do here. You are going to bring an auxiliary power line an imaginary power line that will help you to solve this question. It was not there in the question, but you have to introduce it so that you'll be able to solve. Now, this is what I mean. You bring an imaginary power line. Now, as soon as you bring this imaginary power line, you see that it becomes, it looks similar to what we saw in the previous video. Now, you can proceed and solve. Now, if you bring this power line here, remember before the power line came, this whole angle was X. Now, if you bring this power line, you have divided x into two parts. This part here and this part. We are going to call the first part here A, then we call the second part here B. So, it means that if you are able to find A and B and we add them, you are going to get x. Because the whole place used to be x. We brought this imaginary power line to divide it into two. We have a part called A and a part called B. So, if you are able to find A and B and we add it, we should get s now with this we can proceed and solve so this is the power line the imaginary power line that is helping us to solve so with this power line we are now going to consider jk 
and this power line here, the one with the short dashes. And in considering that, you see that BA is our transversal. And from here, we can see, looking at the position of A and 54 degrees, we can see that alternating angles are equal. So A is equal to 54 degrees because A and 54 degrees are alternating angles. So we found A. Let's look at B. So it means that we are done with this top part. So we are going to consider the down part here. In considering the down part here, we can see that B and 130 degrees are co-interior angles. What do we know about co-interior angles? We know that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So B plus 130 degrees will give us 180 degrees. You simplify, you are going to get 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. So B will give us 50 degrees. So we've now found A, we found B, so we can say that S is equal to A, which is 54 degrees, plus B, which is 50 degrees. So S will give us 104 degrees. So whenever you have a question like this, what you have to do is that you introduce an imaginary power line, a helping power line, so that you can be able to solve the question. Let's consider another example. A typical example is this one. Now, we are supposed to find x, we are supposed to find y. How do we do it? Now, because you have this and the transversal is not continuing up to this line, what you have to do is that you introduce a helping power line. So, you are going to introduce this helping power line here. Now, as soon as you introduce this helping power line, we can see from here that it's going to divide the x into two parts. Let's first consider the x before we move on to the y. It's going to divide, divide the x into two parts. So n here, we are going to call this first part here n, and we are going to call this one n. Remember that you can pick any variable, any letter, you can use it to solve. All that you need to do is to keep track of the letters that you are writing. So we can say that x is equal to n plus m because you've divided x into m and n. Now, how do you find m? And n. Let's first begin with corresponding angles. We can see clearly from here that n is corresponding to 40 degrees. We know that corresponding angles are equal. So n is equal to 40 degrees from here because n and m are corresponding. Now we can also see from here that m and 150 degrees are co interior angles. We know that co interior angles sum up to 180 degrees so m plus 150 degrees will give us 180 degrees and m will give us 30 degrees if you simplify so we found n we have also be able to find m so x will give us 40 degrees plus 30 degrees and that will give us 70 degrees so it means that we have now been able to find the whole x so that once again you introduce the imaginary power line and use it to find the angle that you are supposed to find. So we find x. Let's move on to y. Now we are able to find x here. y is here. Now you see that this is a point. x and y are angles around a point. If you angles around this particular point here, if you add all of them together, in the first video we said that angles around a point will add up to 360 degrees. So we know that angles around the point sum up to 360 degrees. So x plus y should give us 360 degrees. Since this is x, this is the point we are talking about. Now we have x here, we have y here. So they, they must all sum, they must add up to 180 degrees. We have found s to be 70 degrees. So if we simplify, y is going to give us 360 degrees minus 70 degrees, which is 290 degrees. So you have been able to find x, you have also been able to find y. Let's Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to consider some more questions on angle properties involving power lines. Bye-bye.